Hey guys, Herf here. Welcome to another episode of Conan Exiles on the Isle of Sipta. We are, I will show you on the map, uh, we are actually close to where we were in the last episode, uh, which was just up over here. We are on the, the next peak. We came down over a land bridge over Imui's path pathway, and we're up on this thing. And um, I fought this guy at the end, uh, not at the end of the episode, but after I stopped recording. So we're going to fight him again. It takes about five seconds but I noticed this little camp up here so I was just kind of exploring these mountains um, and then decided you know what let's just start the next episode here and uh, hey buddy he picks up rocks he's mean Ooh, he throws them he dies like really quick she kills him like right away there it is I don't even know what these guys are. The wolfmen are giant. Can't even tell. What do we get when we chop them up? He looks like the same guy we saw on that uh, that island in the northeast. Thick hide, feral flesh, so he's not human. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna drop that because I don't need it. Yeah, we still have all the gossamer and the crap that we uh, that we grabbed from the uh, the mushroom mountain i think that the guys call it so again i did not find that i just want to point out that that was not uh that was um one of the commenters suggested i i go check that out so that was not something i discovered on my own um oh how are we gonna get up there Is trying. Uh, I guess I'm gonna go ahead and just climb it. I'm coming closer. I'm doing it. Okay. We're just gonna take care of you. You the only one? How did you get up here? You're so talented. Uh, climb up here. Got a chest with crap in it, or sea wrap, as I like to call it. Um, well. This is an incredible. Incredibly uneventful camp. Like, why would you even live up here? What is your goal in life? Um. Is this stuff anything? What's this stuff? I found some gear. What did I find? This? Wood of a Sora. Wonder what that is. Oh, your key spike is mine. Wood of a Sora. Okay. Was that the gear that I found? I'm not sure what's happening. Uh, I'm gonna climb up here and just see. Is there anything further up? That just looks like plants. What is that? Um, I don't know what that is. That's kind of scary. <laughs> okay. Uh. Oh. Oh crap! Well, that was a lucky A hit there. Um, that looks like some kind of a boss. Alright. Crap, it's getting dark. I was hoping to do this at night. Uh, 
Priest of Zath. Okay. Well, she didn't last long. Um, but I saw something really icky hanging over the. Is that just one of these things wiggling? Thought I saw like a giant spider leg or something gross. Maybe, uh, maybe it was not. Is just this just a a Zath thing? Seem to be able to interact with any of it. Okay. I guess that's what I saw, just things dangling in the breeze. Uh, can we interact with anything here? It does not appear to. Okay, well I guess this is just an altar in a weird spot that doesn't help us at all. Okay, so we are going to head back home. Um, one of the guys had suggested in the past um, the armor that uh, my lovely assistant here is wearing. It is hyper hyperborean, hyborian, hyperborean. So apparently there are two actual versions of this, and what I did is um, I just crafted the one that was on um, my my armor branch. So I went and looked. And there is another version of this um, that was uh, unlockable for me in, in some different feats. And it is called Hyperborean Slaver. It's the exact same name. Um, it's just a separate version. So I need... Where is my lovely assistant? So we needed Elephant Hide. Uh, and that was one of the things that I, I was collecting uh, in order to make the padding necessary to make the Hyborian, Hyperborean upgraded version of this stuff. So we've collected some elephant hide. I'm going to collect more elephant hide on the way back through. Uh, and, and we'll see about making this uh, when we come back. So we'll be back um, when we get home. Okay, so I went and foolishly got myself killed, guys. Um, at the, the camp where we got the uh, smelter last time, I stopped in there to see if we could knock stuff out, and I, I got bled out by a bunch of uh, just normal characters. I didn't see anything in there worth, um, any, you know, thralls in there worth, worth taking. So, uh, in the meantime, I decided, um, let's take this uh, bearer out, and she's kind of getting her butt killed by these... Uh, of these Lucertas. I gave her uh, Daggers of the Grey Ones, which I found at my old base. And I'm just trying to let her fight these guys. And she got some gruel to heal up on. Alright, she bled that one out. Now she should be able to take on this one, especially if he's interested in me. I thought we'd see if we can get her... Alright, that one died. Get her a level or two. Come here in the sun for a second, even though there's no sun here. We're right in front of the uh, the uh, uh, the rave. So I'll show you what she's got. I, I decided to put... Um, she has to wear the bearer pack here. I mean, I guess I don't have to have her on that uh, with that at the moment, but... Uh, just the regular default, um, you know, grass fiber top or whatever. But I gave her the gray ones. I hit these gray one armbands and kilts. And then she's got the Lemurian royal slippers on so it's kind of ridiculous looking but i kind of thought oh she's got red hair so maybe these red shoes will <laughs> match but they kind of look silly but we'll figure something better out like i said i'm just trying to see if i can get her some xp while i'm waiting for uh frida to come back uh and then we will see if we can make some she is actually carrying the elephant hide that i need so um I thought about maybe taking the Berserker over and killing some more elephants. I might do that. We'll see. But we'll bring you back shortly. Hopefully I don't get her killed. Okay, guys. Well, Frieder is uh, finally back. Uh, we managed to get the, uh, the 
Berserker, the Accursed Bearer, uh, up to level 5. And I can't remember where she started for strength. I want to say 12. So she's gone up 6 levels in strength. 6 points in strength and 5 levels. I, I have to say that wrong. That That's my job. And I cannot remember where she where she was in vitality. I want to say it was 7, 6, 7, 8. So I can't quite go back and look at the video. But uh, Frida's back. So we're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to take Frida with us. And let me see what oh, what do you got? You got on you this stuff that Herf wants. Let me take that first of all. Give you back your weapon, and I will take this elephant hide and the thick hide, and let's see what it's going to take. So I'm going to throw the elephant hide here. The thick hide. I'm just going to get out of my inventory. So let's look at the Zamorian, no, Hyperborean. Oh, it is these things. So there's a Hyperborean Slaver Helmet that has a value of 72. And there's a Hyperborean Slaver Helmet that has a value of double that. So we need perfected heavy padding. So to make that, I think, assuming I can make that, I think they said you could make that with a T3 guy. Perfected medium, perfected light. Oh, perfected heavy, there it is. So I need hardened... Oh. Is that just me, or is that a lot of hardened leather? Um, so I need twine. I have tons of twine. So let's look at this again. So we need perfected heavy padding, perfected heavy padding, uh, oh these are slightly different then I guess, we need perfected heavy padding so that's three, and perfected heavy padding. Or were these the boots? These are the boots. All right, so I need five perfected heavy padding. So I think I have enough to do this. Perfected heavy. I can craft five, so we're going to craft five. All right, that's going to take a million years. And uh, we will bring you back with the next uh, the next phase. All right, guys. So we have crafted uh, the upgraded version of the Hyperborean Slaver armor. So she is right now at yeah. So I might have. Yeah, I'm super confused. So we're going to have to do this like piece by piece so I don't mess it up. I'm going to put two of these in our inventory. Uh, so this is upgraded chest thingy. And that is the upgraded helmet. Even though the new helmet has an armor value of 79. And the old helmet has an armor value of 79. So that is slightly... that's why I'm confused. So we'll do boots and bracers. Bracers of 79. 
Yeah, so that's better than these. And the boots are 79, and that's better than these boots, right? Yep. Okay. And what do I have left? The, uh... The loincloth. So 198 is much better than 99 yet, so it's double. Okay. Oh, look at her armor. Yeah, so her armor's at 1,000. Um, so she went from, what, just over 600 armor value to 1,000, which is even better than the Sumerian stuff, which was close to 900. So that's really good. How do you feel there, kid? What do you think, BTF? I think she's a little shinier. I think she's a little shinier. So I'm going to put this uh, other armor in here. So I can move again. So let me look at the helmets now. Yeah, so this is armor value 72, and that's the heavy padding, so that's the normal one. This is armor value 144, did I? Oh, I did not make the wrong one. Because I used five. Oh, did I make the wrong one? <laughs> I might have made the wrong one. So I don't have enough. Uh, let's check... Well, I'll craft it one more time. What the heck? Yeah, I still don't have enough. Uh, okay. Well, I've got to make a little bit more hardened leather, so that's going to take me a few mins. And unless I happen to... No, this is all. I have some in here? Nope. Alright, so I'm going to have to go craft some hardened leather. Well, we're close anyway. We got... Um, let's see what you're getting for a bonus. Can't see that unless I look here. Uh, she's got agility, survival. So it looks like, no, she's got plus six, plus six. So it looks like she's getting strength bonus. So it's kind of the same uh, plus eight strength bonus that she was getting from the old piece. Um... Possibly if I make the right helmet? I mean, would this thing construct if I had perfected? Needs perfected. This one needs heavy. If I clicked on... Yeah, see, I don't... I guess I did have iron in here. I don't know. I don't think I clicked the wrong one. All right, guys, so I've got... <laughs> this is a little weird. I was trying to just see if I could get closer in the camera. Oh, I wonder, can I do, uh, like... Put my sword away. Is it this button? Whoa! Hello. Um, so, Frida here is wearing uh, the upgraded version. And I put everything but the helmet on... Uh, on our bearer here. And, I mean, they look the same. I don't really see much in the way of a physical difference. The um, the front of the loincloth is a slightly different shape. I don't know if that's different based on the character you put it on or what, but I mean, other than that, they look pretty much identical to me. So, oh, well, I thought, uh, why not try it on her since... Um, Since she needs some better armor, and I'll get, I'll just gonna dump this goofy armor. Uh, but yeah, okay. So we're gonna go, um, we're gonna go head off an adventure. We'll br bring you back shortly. Okay, guys. So I just wanted to straighten out um, one thing. For some reason, this was the old helmet that we took off of Frida, 
She had a 79 uh, armor rating. Um, this is one I just created, which is 158. And the one that she is wearing is also 158. So I don't know where this other... Um, it was showing me 79 on two different... Um, on two different armor things and I, I think it was I, I don't know if I was looking at the wrong thing or whatever anyway so I made it correctly is the point and then I made a second one for no reason so um, but yeah so this uh, this this epic um, Hyperborean uh, slaver armor is pretty good um, I think we're gonna go do a little bit of adventuring a little bit of killing and then I think in the next episode uh, we're going to head towards the tower, and I sort of wanted to uh, to to just throw out uh, a warning in that I think um, the tower episode is going to be episode thirty, and I think I'm going to um, to either end the series or put the series on hiatus uh, just because it's getting really grindy. Um, we have. Let's go kill some people while, while, while Herf is blabbing. So, yeah, what ends up happening with me, right, is I really enjoy the struggle uh, of these these crafting survival games. I enjoy the build-up. When we get to the point of, you know, end-game play, I, I, I don't really enjoy it. Um, you know, I, I've done it with Minecraft where, you know, I play a lot of Minecraft and it gets to the point where you have a couple of stacks of diamonds and then the game is no longer fun for me. And uh, it kind of happened to me in Ark, where I get to the point where, you know, I should be using um, all the uh, all the tech gear and, and tech everything. And I, I just, um, I don't know, I don't enjoy that. I enjoy the struggle of getting there and, uh, and getting to that point. And it's getting to that point with Conan. I absolutely love this game. It is... Um, probably one of the best games I've I've ever honestly played and I thought I was gonna not like it very much when, when I started um, I have said before I am NOT a fan of the uh, multiplayer aspect you know I, I like co-op play um, I've played a few games with with uh, you know buddies of mine and friends and stuff and it's it's very fun but the PvP stuff just not something I have any interest in playing um, I, I feel like you work too hard uh, to gather all these things. You grind way too long to make bases. And then to have some, no offense to anybody out there that's young, but to have some little, you know, 13-year-old uh, kid sort of come in and just undo all the crap that you've uh, you've worked so hard to do, you know, with, with cheating or meshing or whatever. I just don't have any interest in that. So, so yeah, I think we're going to go investigate the... Um, the tower and see what's kind of in the void forge there maybe we'll we'll experiment with uh with some weapons but uh i think after that you know there's lots of other stuff i could do like you know i've only gotten uh, some of the um the gray ones weapons right we haven't really investigated the the um the volcano forge or anything so we haven't, you know, fully done everything in the game, but there doesn't seem to be much of a of a progression. Uh, what is that? It's hard work. I'll take that. Doesn't seem to be uh, as much of a progression in this DLC as there was in the Exiled Lands, where at least you know you had the goal of trying to, um, you know, to play the string out and 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 uh, release you from your bonds and all that. So I may go back and and put a bow on that. But, uh, yeah, at this point, it's just super grindy for me. And um, everything I want to do is just taking hours and hours to make an episode uh, instead of... In the beginning, you know, you can just record yourself running around. and uh, You know, I may play off-camera and continue the series. And uh, if there's updates or anything like that... This guy is hiding behind this rock. You know, I may come back and, and revisit an update if there's significant change. But, um, yeah, I think from what I wanted to get out of the series, uh, I think I've done. You know, and you guys have uh, have given us um, 
some fantastic support uh, over the last few months as well. And that is truly appreciated. Uh, the guidance and support and uh, the great stuff and comments that I've gotten, the pointers and uh, strategy and all that, is it's just wonderful. Uh, it really is. So I hope, um, you know, those of you that, that have gotten into this series, maybe check out some of my other stuff that I've done. And I've also got a few, um, I don't know where she went. I've also got a few uh, other ideas. I've got one creative idea that I really would love to do. Uh, I don't know how realistic that's going to be because, like I said before, I don't make money here on YouTube. Um, we just hit 300 subscribers on the channel uh, in the past um, 10 days, couple of weeks. So that is also wonderful and, and honestly far, far greater than uh, I ever expected. And I've been doing this longer than I thought, too. I thought I'd go in and do some Minecraft stuff, maybe some ARC stuff, and I'd be done. But um, so this has been a lot of fun. And uh, like I said, I do appreciate all the uh, all the support and the following that uh, that you guys have given me. So I'm sorry I'm spinning in circles here, making myself sick. I don't know where BTF got to. Is she stuck? Where did she go? Well, I'm going to go find Frieder and uh, I'll, I'll bring you guys back. Actually, you know what? I think we're just going to continue to raid this place, uh, loot the bodies. And um, I think that's going to do it here for this episode, guys. And uh, do turn in, uh, turn in the next time. I think I'm going to take all of my fragments. We'll go. My understanding is that the tower is similar to the library uh, in the um, in the city, in the exiled lands. So... We can learn, what do we see? We got it's steel arrows. Yeah, I don't care about those. So we can learn um, different uh, recipes and things uh, from the Void Forge. So, all right, guys. Well, I'm going to quit blabbing. Uh, I think that's going to do it for today. I seem to have lost uh, BTF here. She is, she is off in Neverland somewhere. Hopefully she'll teleport back to me if I get far enough away. Uh, as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I do appreciate all the feedback and all the support you've given the series over the last few months. And uh, as always, I look forward to seeing you guys uh, in the next one.